Hello everyone, we're going to be going through many different posts on the R. Kurosanji subreddit. A lot of these are going to be drama posts and opinions and allegations and such. Unless there is other proof, take it as an opinion piece and take it as allegations. And I will have as many sources as possible. But if no sources are there, then that means it's just an allegation, a shiitake post, whatever you want to call it. It is to be taken as an opinion. Thank you. Here we have the Mario Kart tournament that's going to happen by Lever Gacha Daipan Trio on, my, on May 5th, which already happened. It happened at 1500 GAST. Hope everyone has fun. Hopefully they had fun. Look, if it didn't do well CCV wise, that's fine. That is perfectly fine. I don't really care if it did well CCV wise or otherwise. The point is people having fun. If the livers that were there in the Mario Kart tournament ended up having fun, that is what matters more than anything else. Of course, everyone's going to be looking at, especially right now, whether the CCV is great or bad. It's not, if it's the same way as the other Mario Kart tournament, it may not go so well, but the other one was EN. This is JP, remember? JP usually gets tons more numbers. Usually gets way higher numbers. So this is the side of Nidhi Sanji that isn't doing horribly right now. This is a side of Nidhi Sanji that isn't really losing any, uh, any CCV or losing any members or losing anything like that. So who knows how it'll be. In the Anime Impulse, another opinion piece here. Uh, I think it's not going to go well, like what this person says. Uh, last time I checked, Vance's thing was the only uh, one to have sold out. I don't really know about any other aspects or Vanity Impulse. Like the meet and greets, none of them have sold out. If they have the same issue that they had with uh, V Rhapsody, Virtual Rhapsody, then they're going to have problems. Went to check the Anime Impulse site, confirm only Vance's is still sold out. Could be an overall miss. Uh, it's only Vance's that got sold out. Barely worth worrying. Due to Nidhi Sanji's desperation, they don't give an S about some of the other livers' thoughts about getting low attendance and their well-being for the chance that some effed up a-hole might harass some livers. Uh, miss, no question about it. Person here says, considering how you pay $50 for a meet and greet, yeah, it could it could be a miss for them. Except Nidhi Fest for that, it seems a crowd, well, it got infected with their own nationalism, might not want to come to their fest. Uh, main branch talents probably don't think so, but Nidhi issue with baseball, so yeah. Uh, might delay for one year again due to, you know, uh, I mean, uh, you know, heat wave or global warming or something. Yeah, I don't think it's going to go well, especially on the EN side, because the EN side is really not looking very good for um, for Nidhi Sanji. And overall, uh, things aren't looking good for Nidhi Sanji. So we will see. Do you think Doki would ever join any of the VTuber agency after experiences? This is fully just opinion piece. Of course, this is not news per se, but this is an opinion piece and it's a nice thought experiment. You guys let me know as well what you think. I don't mean something like she's going to join Hollow Live because I doubt it's harder to mean something like Idol EN or FaZe Invaders or Bishoujo. I don't think so, personally, because I agree with what this person says. She's too big right now. She already has her own team. Apparently, her family has some involvement. She's working breakneck speed, what she's got. She doesn't really have a reason to join any other VTuber agencies. Even if she joined Bishoujo, they would just be doing what Mr. Man is already doing, so it'd probably be redundant. She might join Mythic, can't see any other VTuber agencies, because she already has, she's already getting merch out. She already has a bunch of, of, uh, sponsors out already a bunch of collaborations out already she's talking to a ton of big vtubers already everyone wants to talk to her everyone wants to deal with her everyone wants to do something with her so i don't think doki bird has a reason to move into an agency agency has legal protections and stuff like that of course but a lot of that you can get yourself by if you're getting paid well enough you can pay your own lawyer you can have a lawyer on retainer in case if anything happens I think, no, she's got everything sorted out herself already. And while my personal biases kind of hope she'd join Hollow, I don't think it's necessary or actually even desirable outcome since she doesn't like singing that much. And I don't e even, I don't mind even if I do enjoy her singing. Unless they offer her a really big deal. Yeah, that's after like a big contract. Um, Yeah, everything, everything's bidding down her door. Like this person saying here, Buxus is saying, they're all bidding down her door. Mythic talent or similar representation are going to be the only ones the, who maybe will get it, but they're going to be more of a hindrance because they're going to ask for like 15%. And she can do all this stuff herself. So I don't think she really has a reason to go anywhere. But you guys let me know because this is a nice little thought experiment that I wanted you guys to have because it's, you know, it's interesting. It's interesting to see what other people think. If uh, other people see, especially with the things that have been happening to recent agencies, if other people see that, you know, agencies are an amazing thing and they should always be joined or if it's just only if it benefits you at that time you know that kind of th thoughts are what i'm kind of uh wondering from you guys i i sigh because um it this is true unfortunately there's so many companies that are getting on the bad list on the list to be number one most blacklisted company like like the, just the company on just being black company in 2024 i was someone make a year in review in the companies uh this year it just started oh no 
Anyway, the, darn, the dam simply broke and it's a hidden comes out into the open like a huge black ugly river that companies were trying to keep hiding. If not for the Salen Doki Bird termination, the Ian, Ian fans wouldn't believe them and believe what those companies tell us. I don't know if they ever beat Wachter, Akio Air, Niji, either Niji Sanji. We also have V Reverie, which is, did a bunch of stuff. Owozu, which did a bunch of stuff. We have a lot of companies that have done stuff and it's just not good. I, I really, really, really don't like this side of VTubing. I hate having to report on it because I prefer to report on good things, report on just regular stuff happening, but there's too many negative things happening out there and I do want them to be out there and known to everybody. Migu, which is, as you know, if you know, you know, I'm not going to say it again, but if you know, you know, what being isolated from a previous company does to an MF -er. In all seriousness, I'm glad she's doing fine and is having a good time. Freedom can be quite new feeling when you just got out from your company from underneath the thumb of a company. Uh, and about, you know, also the tax trouble that she got. Feel so happy right now. That's so happy recently. It's insane how gentle life feels now. I'm not used to it yet, but I'm such a new and warm feeling. I feel like my last bit of optimism have been rewarded and my hope is slowly recovering. I now wish that everyone can one day feel the same. She is now uh, Michi Mochi V in, um, in the new company, which is Vishojo. And we're going to have fun with that. I have fun with Michi Mochi V. She's, she's amazing. I'm glad she found her place in Vishojo and I'm ho hope the others from Kurosanji that want things to change for themselves find the same thing too. I want them to find the best of everything that they can. Not like Gillette, the best a man can get, but just like, you know, you know, the regular stuff. I'm losing is Mika Michi, right? Yes, Kami goes Mika Michi. Uh, source Sauce is going to be right here. That's where she did it. Embrace it. Yippee, sending lots of hugs and love. You deserve it. It's really good to hear you doing better now. Happy nowadays, after everything you've been through, you deserve this for real. Uh, it's so nice seeing you receive the love and treatment you deserve after seeing what you went through. So happy for you. People are just very, very happy, which is deserved on her end. It says, for me, I generally hope the others in the company aren't too tapped in the echo chamber, trapped in the echo chamber, too, and they can see that uh, what it is for those who have left. I know people often write these in company off. Maybe it's because I spend too much time in subreddits where I'm confronted with the difficult people in abusive relationships have in escaping. Yeah, if they can escape, Great. If they can't, if they want to stay, then great too. I support them in anything what they want to do because they are the talents. I'm not someone who's going to be get, telling you, you have to get out, you have to do this, you have to do that. No, I'm not going to be doing that. That's that's not for me to say. If you enjoy what you're doing, it's not for me to say that you need to get out of it. Of those that have left, all the girls have some obvious fears of relevancy and inability to sustain themselves on streaming. I just hope that those who are still in the company can get their fears assuaged. Also hope that talking to lawyers, yeah, they need to talk to lawyers for the the contract sake and other sakes of themselves but i'm glad kamigu got out here we go let's start with this which is another situation of sayu finally going above zion lanza zion lanza was 100,365. of course she only stayed there for a month uh sayu is now 101908 she is getting the goodwill that she deserves she's getting the benefits that she deserves um and with Sayu has rocketed past her previous subscriber amount, I believe Zion was at 101k, but not sure as that account is still gradually losing subs. Uh, of course, Zion's losing subs because everyone's like, oh, they're Sayu now? Well, I'm going to go for Sayu then. You know, that type of thing. So, I mean, why why, why stay with a, a lost one, one that has been lost? Of course, you know, it sucks that they were lost. It sucks the reasons why it happened. It sucks the way that it happened. But now you have Sayu Synchronicity, which hopefully will get to 200 and 300 and even more. She got up to 2k faster than reaching the milestone. That's good to see. Crazy Zion had barely a month to grow, and I think she was in her gen. It's the fastest grower, despite being the weirdest time slot. The clipping power. The clips help a lot. Clips are important. And then if I know how to clip and the terminology is used as TW Malay, I would have done this myself. If you want to get some clipping, look up DaVinci Resolve, free editing suite. You look up basic editing tutorial. If you want to learn how to clip, join Fillion's clipping discord. They teach you the clip Fillion once you learned, you, you learned it. Start an, uh, uh, with an idiot save tool for editing like CapCut. That's what I use. It's very TikTok shorts focused. Profile pics are kind of ironic now. Zion is angry while Sayu is happy goofy. It appears every last Zymon has converted into a Synchronite. Of course. And that's the that's the thing. That's what's beautiful. It's beautiful that they are now converting to Zion, uh, from Zion to Sayu Synchronicity. As I had said in other episodes, in other videos that I have here, uh, we have the situation with uh, Idol Corp. They are debuting their new unit, Encore which is announced with Enya Ignis as first member. These are all members that are previously graduated. I'm not sure if they're all previously graduated from Idol or they're previously graduated from other organizations. The point is that they are previously graduated talents that are going to be uh, shown to everybody here. 
And uh, they said Enya is going to be a known force, someone that they know in the past. Then they announced that Enya Ignis is someone known rebranding with a new name model. I think they said they, they'll say who it is in the debut stream. Same generation debut on the same day will have two more VTubers who will keep their old name and get a new model. The identities will be announced in Enya's debut stream. Silently praying for one of the new members to be Sabaton fan. The, uh, I'm going to give you all, all the deets after I, I you know show this. Well, I guess I'm uh, still on the lookout for Saya Poya and Yuniho. Based on the context clues teasers, it's neither of them. So the signs are pointing towards either an indie that graduated but wanted to come back or a former idol group graduate. Lily, Emmy, and Neo could be good guess. There's no way if it was the company VTuber that they could open reveal who they were unless formally with said t company. So that's the thing. They can't always just say who they are. Uh, they have to give a little bit of, you know, um, air of of mystery. Bet is that the gen contains at least one of the former Prison Project talents. Three girls, one joining, one rebranding, two staying as they are. Three talents from our very first idol gen graduated. We would fit perfectly. If it were idol graduates. I doubt it, but I won't... Discount that one of them could be returning as a rebrand, though I guess the question is which one of the three are returning. Maybe the first IE members will be back. That's Idol Yen. Code Subame, one of the existing ones, maybe. Here we have Idol Corp, which is, you know, now has as their banner the one that they did show, Anya. And uh down here is their debut trailer thing that they have for everybody. That's Anya Ignis. Fireball. Do, 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 do. She looks like an elf in a weird way. Wait, did she just put? She just she just tooted that. Did she just toot that out? No, I thought she. Yeah, she did. She just tooted that out. Okay, now she's a little um, she <laughs> a little funny, funny. They had her toot out a fireball for some reason. Even with the toot, she looks cute. Yes, yeah, she looks cute even with the toot. And there you have it. You're going to have, can you guess the other ones, the Encore? Encore, of course, meaning doing things again. Um, we have Avio Basin talking about what's happening right now. As you can tell, we are now more open to the idea of bringing VTubers with their existing IPs and might continue to do so in the future if we see a good fit. Talents joining Idol with existing IP enjoy the same perks and benefits as all other Idol talents, while they still maintain ownership of their channel and their IP. In exchange, to keep it fair, the contract duration is extended. So... This is very interesting. It says, and if they want to leave, they still keep their IP? Yes. So he's saying that, yes, they do. They still keep their IP. You didn't read the post, did you? I did, but ADHD brain prevented me from fully getting it. So sweet, pretty good timing. Uh, suena demasiado bien. Sounds a little too good. Uh, this is amazing. Once again, idols on top. What well, means IP, the internet, their, you know, their actual intellectual property. So they get to keep all of that. That is something that idol is doing to kind of keep themselves above and beyond the rest. Uh, here are also Enya Ignis' channel. She already has 762 subscribers. Um, apparently, Enya's Fire Music, they have, you know, things in the past. It's a rebrand. They're showing, like, this is an actual channel that existed, it looks like. And it is a rebrand from what it looks like. This is her debut stream with nine people waiting. May, May 11th is when it's going to be. It may have already come out if you're watching this after May 11th. And there we go. Enya Ignis is actual... Uh, Idol En uh, Twitter. She's showing everything. Not showing her voice yet because, of course, that would just not be good to show her voice. And as Fire Music, she made a playlist. Spent all night making this playlist. Hope you love it. Oh, so it's not a rebrand. This is actually just a playlist that she made for her fans. Nice. So that's good. Fire, 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 fire upon ye. So she's she's gonna. This is gonna be good. This is definitely gonna be good. And uh, someone asked from Idol En, Kai Sakota Encore is separate from Gen Three. It's not going to be Idol EN Gen 3. This is separate. This is a separate gen. Just for all those who are asking. And this looks good. It looks like they were really planning ahead for all this. Looks like they're really, really planning ahead and making sure that this is going to be a good debut. It's going to be a slow burn as almost all of Idol ENs end up being a slow burn unless they're heavily recognized. Who will? Who knows when they actually show if it's going to be like, a, oh my God, it's this person and then tons of people come in. That would be good. That would be kind of cool. So we will see when that happens. And when that happens, I will let you guys know. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.